When it comes to business travel in Orlando, it's never business as usual. Sure, I could go on for days about all the incredible places to hold meetings, or the Michelin dining, or the breadth of industries that call it home. But when it's time for your business to make the extraordinary happen, Albert Monero of Limitless Solutions said it best, Orlando is an incredible place for innovation. So dive in and see what's happening in Orlando, where the possibilities for business travel are unbelievably real. Learn more at OrlandoForBusiness.com. U.S. President Joe Biden has called on lawmakers to pass a three-month suspension of a federal gasoline tax. The move, known as a gas tax holiday, is in response to soaring energy and pump prices. It's hoped the measure, if approved, will provide temporary relief for struggling consumers. Oil prices have surged globally since last year as economies rebound from lockdowns during the COVID-19 pandemic. The surge in prices has also been attributed to the war in Ukraine, with Western countries continuing to shun Russian oil. Mr. Biden urged oil companies to pass on potential savings from the gas tax holiday to American families and for gas stations to lower their prices at the pumps. Together, these actions could help drop the price at the pump by up to $1 a gallon or more. It doesn't reduce all the pain, but it would be a big help. I'm doing my part. I want the Congress, the states, and the industry to do their part as well. The average cost of a gallon of gas in the U.S. is around $5. A U.S. gallon is equivalent to 3.8 liters. Experts say a gas tax holiday will cost the government roughly $10 billion in foregone revenue. For more on this, Simon Marks joins us now live from Washington, D.C. Simon, tell us, what has the reaction been to President Biden's call for this gas tax holiday? Complex, uh, in a word, not least because it was former President Barack Obama uh, who once described the idea of a gas tax holiday in the United States as a gimmick. Uh, and that left the White House today scrambling to explain why President Biden thinks uh, it's got viability and utility to deliver real help to American motorists and, of course, businesses that rely very heavily on transportation. Uh, industry analysts say, despite the president's pleas to garage owners, it will not necessarily create uh, the 18 cents a gallon difference that he foresees because, of course, uh, the owners of petrol stations do not have to honour his suggestion that the price should immediately start falling. Uh, and there are concerns among Democrats that, on the one hand, uh, President Biden is portraying the oil companies as money-grabbing profiteers, but on the other hand, he's promising action that could only increase those profits by creating um, additional demand for the product that they produce. And in political terms, uh, his proposal seems to be dead on arrival. Up on Capitol Hill, Republicans dismissed it today as nothing more than a stunt. This is yet another example of this administration's failure on an issue that is fundamental to the American people. And that is the price they're paying for a gallon of gasoline. Five dollars is the national average right now. And if you, if the, what the administration, of course, is coming up with is yet another gimmick, uh, another Band-Aid, and something they know is dead on arrival up here in Congress. The president knows it. Democrats know it up here. And I think, uh, from what we're told, they've conveyed that uh, to him. No coincidence he used the word gimmick there. Now, on Thursday, oil industry executives will be meeting senior White House officials to discuss uh, the president's call on them to drill more oil and refine more product. Uh, but if the ultimate aim is a cheaper summer travel season for motorists, so far, President Biden cannot count on achieving it. Thank you very much for that, Simon. Simon Marks, live in Washington, D.C. Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Catherine. We're part of the Blendjet team. And husband and wife. If you're one of the 5 million people who use a Blendjet portable blender, thank you. A few years ago, I had a freak accident and almost died. Daily smoothies have helped me recover. We created Blendjet to help people live healthier lives by making it easy to enjoy perfectly blended smoothies and protein shakes anytime, anywhere. The Blendjet 2 portable blender is powerful, USB rechargeable, cleans itself, and comes in over 30 colors. Get yours now on Blendjet.com. 